For decades, internal combustion engines relied on a simple yet vital component, the carburetor. This device mixed air and fuel mechanically, depending on the engine's vacuum to draw in the necessary amount of gasoline. But over time, the need for greater efficiency, lower emissions, and more precise control led to a silent revolution, the arrival of electronic fuel injection. But how does it work, and what's the major issue with this system? The history of electronic fuel injection, known as EFI, marks one of the most significant transformations in the automotive industry, replacing the carburetor with a much more precise and efficient system. Although early attempts emerged in the 1950s, it was Bosch who, in 1967, managed to mass-introduce the Jetronic, the first reliable EFI system, in Volkswagen, Mercedes, and BMW vehicles, finally replacing the less efficient mechanical solutions. Before those advancements, many sports engines used mechanical injection systems, like those developed by Mercedes-Benz in Formula One during the 1950s, or the famous Bendix Electrojector from 1957, installed in barely 30 Chrysler units. However, those early electronic designs suffered from frequent failures and didn't perform well in varying climates, which limited their initial adoption. The real breakthrough came in the 1970s when Bosch perfected its Jetronic system with versions such as the D-Jetronic, pressure-controlled, L-Jetronic, airflow measurement, and later the K-Jetronic, which helped standardize electronic fuel injection in millions of contemporary European cars from brands like Porsche, Volvo, and Citroën. Another key milestone came in 1979 with the launch of Bosch's Motronic system, which integrated fuel injection and ignition into a single digital control unit. This combination allowed real-time adjustments based on speed, temperature, and load, significantly improving fuel efficiency, available power, and reducing harmful emissions. Don't worry, we'll dive into how it works in more detail shortly. By the 1980s and 1990s, electronic fuel injection became standard even in popular and affordable models. Detroit adopted simplified forms like throttle body injection, TBI, while in Japan, brands like Honda and Toyota popularized multipoint systems in vehicles such as the Civic and Celica, using sensors like the Mass Airflow and Lambda sensors to fine-tune the fuel mixture. The definitive transition occurred when emission regulators demanded lower pollutant levels. Carburetor-based solutions proved insufficient and costly to adapt, while electronic fuel injection offered precise control of the combustion cycle, better energy efficiency, and lower emissions, becoming standard in all vehicles sold since the mid-1990s. Unlike carburetors, electronic fuel injection doesn't rely on basic mechanical principles. It's based on sensors, calculations, and millimetric precision. Essentially, it replaces the carburetor with a series of injectors that spray fuel directly into the airstream entering the engine. But what's interesting is not just how it does it, but when and how much. And that's where electronics come into play. A computer, the ECU, or engine control unit, gathers real-time data from multiple sensors and instantly adjusts fuel injection to suit every driving condition. The process begins when the driver presses the accelerator, this activates a pedal position sensor, which sends a signal to the ECU. At the same time, sensors measure engine temperature, the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases, intake air pressure, and revolutions per minute. With all this information, the ECU calculates the exact amount of fuel needed and instructs the injectors to spray it into the combustion chamber. Electronic fuel injection turned the engine into an intelligent system, capable of responding in milliseconds to changes in environment and driving style. While it may seem like a marvel, all these benefits come with a significant drawback. I'll explain that in a moment. First, let's look at the different types of electronic fuel injection systems. Single point, multi-point, sequential, and even direct injection, where fuel is sprayed directly into the cylinder at high pressure. The latter, commonly used in modern turbocharged engines, allows for even more efficient combustion and greater power with lower fuel consumption. However, it's not all upside. The complexity of these systems also makes them more sensitive to electronic failures, especially if proper maintenance isn't performed. 
a faulty sensor can affect the engine's overall performance, and replacement parts or repairs tend to be more expensive than those of the old mechanical systems. Still, when balancing technology with efficiency, the benefits far outweigh the downsides.